Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're starting a new game. Well, it's an old game, but you get the picture. Uh, this is uh, Dragon Sang, The River of Time. It's a German game developed by Random La Raiden Labs. It's a real-time strategy game with uh, pause time in it. And I hope you enjoy. So let's start. Going difficult, of course. Come down. <clears throat> well, Forgrim, let's get you a pale ale. Alas, the beer tastes only half as good without Ardo. Those were the days back then. None of you has ever told me what actually happened back then. Because it's a secret. Yes, that's what you keep telling me over and over. Hmm. Maybe you're old enough for it now. Listen. It's a story about betrayal and greed. And the beginning of a friendship. A young, previously unknown adventurer was also with us. Otherwise, we would probably not have pulled it off. Somehow, this person got entangled in our problems during the autumn of the year 1009, after Busparan's fall. We all met on the journey, as it so often happens. Hmm. How might it have been for the Greenhorn? <laughs> Just imagine, Gladys. I'll reveal to you who it was. Okay, so here we create our character. We can choose from various characters. It's a warrior, an archer, a soldier, battle mage, healing mage, charlatan, I'm not gonna read all the background, it'll take forever. Thief, Rogue, Burglar, Elementalist, Metamage, Alchemist, Pirate, Tribal Warrior, Amazon, Elf, Ranger, Spellweaver, Fighter, Dwarf, Mercenary, Sapper, Prospector, and Geode, which is a mate, a split. I'm gonna play this game as a meta mate. Initiate an initiate in the higher arts of magic. The meta mage can send skeletons to fight his opponents and perform other powerful ma magic. The Novadi comes from the pr from a proud desert tribe and is not familiar with the customs of the Middle Realm which is middle realm where the game takes place so basically where we came from a foreign land let's customize our character a little bit air okay face no not to this at all. Let's keep this one easy. 
not short, also not that long. I'm not gonna go to the export mode which customize every attribute and talent. So no, we're not going there. Name. Arab name. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, this is acceptable. So kind of the But yeah, I think this is everything. Let's start the game. West, welcome, you're standing on the boat and maybe unsure of what to do. Opening the quest book at the bottom left hand side of the screen will reveal to your task. All quests are entered there, as well as usual information on the aim and task involved. If you receive a message telling you that a quest has, become, has been update, updated or up, has been completed, failed or updated, you can find all the information about the quest about it in the quest book. This will then light up. Okay. This is the quest book. Nice camp. Go and see the captain. I'm supposed to get off the get off the deck as we're not going any further today. Captain Albus is obviously waiting to talk to me. Okay, complete your training. Find Master Brookbeard. Uh, this is a training quest. There is uh, multiple starting quests for each type of character. Like a fighter will go to a certain captain of the guard to get his training. As we pick the mage, we are going to see a master mage complete our training and thieves will go to thieves guild so yeah i've been sent to nedra to learn from master brookbeard he's supposed to be a great researcher with extensive knowledge even in the even in the more obscure magical field i've been with i have with me a letter of recommendation requ requesting the master to continue my training okay It's good of you to join us on land, young man. We'll camp here tonight before we reach Nadaret tomorrow. But there is just one thing. You promised to make yourself useful during our journey. I forgot all about that. Or I would have given you something to do much sooner. Did I? And of course I'll keep my word, Captain. What can I do to help? Lend old Peter hand to set up camp for the night. We'll set off at first light tomorrow. Our paying passengers are in a hurry. Okay. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. Ah, these young folks have a thirst for knowledge. Ask away! What can you tell me about Nadra? Well, what can I say? It's a small and rather pretty trading town on the Great River, ruled by the Honorable Baron Dajan of Nadra. Is there anything else you would like to ask? Why are you... Why are we bothering to set out... To set camp for the night? Well, for one thing, it's night. And you're much better off on land at night. If you ask Pete, he'll tell you that the River Father hates being woken at night and crushes the ships that disturb his sleep. But I would say it's just good sense. You can't see the rocks in a river at night. Is there anything else you would like to ask? That's all, Captain. I'll ask Pete if there's anything to do. I'm going to lower the music because it's a little bit high. So dirty. No, that's too low. Okay. Q 
usable object. If you move your mouse over a usable object, the cursor will change appearance. Doors can be opened, dead animals can be gutted, plants harvest, enemies looted, etc. Right click of right clicking opens a, a radial menu from which you can select various commands. Okay. Who? What? Oh, it's someone from the boat. What was your name again? Sultan Hassan, how can you forget? How could you forget? Oh, right. You're the one who couldn't afford to pay the full fare. You don't have to remind me. Odd jobs. Sorry, I don't know how I can forget that. Yes, the captain was very was so friendly. Friendly? <laughs> well, if you enjoy working so much, you can do my job as well. Or not? Who knows what a mess you'd make of it? I seem to remember that if someone chose to waste their money on betting instead of buying, Tinder fungus and Furdock. No, that's not true. Somebody stole the money, and I was so shocked by the theft that I forgot to buy the tinder fungus. Really? Really? I don't have any tinder, tinder fungus either. How can I help? Well, someone will have to find some dry tinder fungus somewhere on this island, and you are going with them, just in case. I'm not scared. I would go on my own if it wasn't so dull. Make sure she comes back in one piece, or you'll have me to deal with. Jana is in enough trouble as it is. Of course. Come on, Jana, let's go. And then you can tell me what he whispered to you. Come on. Don't you dare. And Jana, no dawdling and jabbering about. There's work to be done. Come on, tell me. What did he whisper to you? A bit more respect, please. It's bad, it's bad enough that we have to... We have to hunt around here like like this because of you. Second option is I shouldn't frighten frighten you by pulling scary faces. Can you do the dragon? Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that. <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you about. I think there might be some tinder fungus inside the ruined tower. Let's take a look there. Okay. You can switch here this is running walking sneaking oh, of course this is throw weapon Pete isn't like this all the time really well actually he is but he doesn't seem to be cruel I think I think he's just a bit paranoid and superstitious. Look how the light rays. This is actually cool. I like the scenery of this game. Being an old game, it's from 2010 actually. There, I'll grab the piece, the piece of this of tinder fungus, and then we can go get out of here. This is the fungus. Oh no. It's as wet as a bowl of kosh cabbage broth. We won't find a shred of dry tinder fungus out here if Effort has blessed the entire island with his wonders. I don't think we need to be around to see them. Okay. What shall we do now? I know. While we're here, let's take a look inside the ruined tower. I bet it's still nice and dry inside. That sounds like a little adventure, I'm in. So you like adventures, do you? Me too. I mean, I like to listen to stories about adventures. Come on, let's go! I'm down here, or are you coming? I am coming. I'm not so sure that we should go in there. Uh, th there seems to be a cave in there, and in Pete's tales, only one person ever gets out of a cave alive. Don't worry. Don't worry, I have a few spells up in my sleeve. Really? Well, I'll trust you this time. We'll be alright if we stick together. You go ahead, I'll watch your back. Yes, 
you have added a hero to your party that you can cannot directly control. His or her inventory is also close close to you. Nevertheless, he or she follow your party and, and assist in battle as normal. He or she can act in accordance with his or her nature, but you can also give him or her beneficial buffs through group spells. Be careful to protect those heroes as some of them can die. Okay. Let's go. I have Fastness of Body, which is a spell that adds or status effect. Status effect has modif has modified your hero status. This is displayed next to, to their portrait. Green is good, red is bad. Move your mouse over to it over it to see more information if the symbol has a bar the effect is only temporarily a number shows that the effect has occurred multiple times example two wounds if there is an if there is no bar next to the symbol you must remove the effect yourself either by using an object or taking an, anti an antidote like for poison and everything I've, play I've played this game before, so I know what I'm doing. I played as a warrior. But Magical creatures. A summoning spell has enabled you to receive an assistant in combat. You cannot select or control the assistant, but they will protect the, the hero who summoned them, as well as his or her party. The summoned creature has no inventory and no alternative weapons. There's those These good creatures fight according to their nature. If they are magic, if they are magicians, they will also use spells. Different creatures have different bonuses, as well as as well as being able to view their portrait you will also be able to see how long a summoned creature will stay with your party before it disappears okay. this is the uh, summoning time i still have 115 seconds let's go hey let me check my inventory character sheet the character sheet could the, char the character sheet contains all game stats spells and talents sorted into tabs at the top of the screen if you have multiple heroes clicking on the relevant heroes portrait at the top right to switch between them and sweep to sweep swap items this does not work for summoning for summon beings or guests clicking on a piece of armor or a weapon equip it right click to see a, a wealth of information on value objects Talent, spells, and special skills. If you want to use leveling points to upgrade value, click on the plus button. Okay. Really? Inventory. This is where you. <coughs> Sorry. This is where every hero gathers and sorts his, his or her belongings. The image, the image in the center sh shows you shows you what your hero is currently wearing. On the right, you will see two bags and a quest bag. You can have your he your hero equipped weapons, armors, and jewelry by left clicking on the items. While right clicking on them will display a description of each item. Ma many items, such as weapons and por and potions, can be dragged to the quick bar below in order to have them handy wh when you need them. Every hero has his or her own quick bar. Give, an, give objects to, to other members of your party by dragging them and dropping them on their portraits. You can use them via the radial menu where you can also split up stacks. Okay. Let me just equip what I have. This is a plus one for a head. Check up here. A staff, fighting staff damage not bad this is symbol 
bandages which will cure wounds which we'll see I like this the how quest bag all the objects in your quest bag are specially in, intended for use in quests you cannot create or destroy them sell or lose them they will be automatically removed when they are no longer needed you do not need to worry about weight or space restrictions as the quest bag grows to, accom to com accommodate its contents right clicking on an object will provide important information on it and the quest to which it belongs okay so yeah having a separate quest bag is really good you don't have to fear like I might sell a quest item or something that won't happen let's continue this is a thing of kind of fungus aren't you gonna get it okay that combat the attacker attacked while the defender parries really this this is uh, how each combat round works although some someone without a shield can only parry once multiple op opponents can attack him or her clicking on an opponent enables all selected heroes to attack him or her using the control key to select multiple heroes you can, you can strategically assign heroes to different attacks to different attackers as well as use special skills and spells for each hero in in the attack list next to next to his or her character portrait he or she will then carry carry out those attacks skills and spells in uh, and spells in the same sequence in the same sequence clicking on message log displays the detailed detailed real-time combat static this is the message log. so if I attack if I hit it will show right here I'm gonna hide it for the sake of gameplay we're gonna all attack this bat I'm gonna choose my dude and use this flame spell I pause and unpause the game by hitting baseball. Adventure point. You have received your first adventure point AP as a reward for performing partic particular actions and for combat. You will receive others for completing quests or defeating opponents. You can use those APs to increase your hero's capabilities at any time. To do so, open your character sheet and click on the upgrade. Every hero has his, his or her own AP account. Once your hero exceeded a certain amount, he, his or her level will increase. Okay. Pause. Well, they're fairly easy. I didn't have to use spells, but okay. As you see the effect here, on the bat or red this is a wound this is a lightning find you I think the skeleton cast it it's electrical damage and this is what I cast it right now it gives a cold and shock them it also slows the opponent down and they're dead thank the 12 god you were you were here otherwise uh, nobody would believe me when I tell them what happened. So yeah, there is there are twelve gods in this game. Let me collect what they have. Belt scraps. Okay. Only two. Let's move on. Collect all. What? This is on Cinder Fungus. Aren't you gonna kill us then? Bowl of Sacrificial Offering. Don't touch it. I think it's a shrine consecrated to the River Father, 
And Pete reminds me every day that a good boatman never angers the River Father. Really. Who is the River Father that you speak of? According to Pete, the River Father has watched over the Great River since time immemorial. Legend has it that he appears in the guise of a river creature, an old man, or even in the form of a walking willow. And he is friends with the fairies, too. And then perhaps we should heed his words. Just this once, anyway. Thanks. Who knows what might have happened otherwise. Now I'm interested. I want to know what happened. Can I? No. Okay, I missed my chance. Aren't you gonna... I have to do it myself. It's a slippery... I agree to... I agree... We get crap. The cave isn't the desire, the driest either. But perhaps Pex will have mercy on us if we search that longer. So this is not what you want. Is this prize in a wet? Oh, it says wet in their fungus. How many did? This is dry one. But let me get those barrels first. Let me practice my barrel killing skill. Rusty nails. 14 bullet fragments. What are these doing in this cave? Is beyond me, but yeah. Finally. At last, a piece of dry tinder fungus. Let's take this back to Pete right now. I'm looking forward to a nice warm fire. Let's explore the rest of the cave. I think I missed you something. You fancy yourself as an adventurer, don't you? Yes. Let me see. Look how beautiful this is. If you ignore the flies. <laughs> oh, another barrel. I knew I missed something. Rusty nails, arrows, and bullet fragments, okay? There is a crafting system in this game so they're all useful they're not just junk and you will see that what the hell is this weird camera wait a moment I want to ask you something we never get the opportunity to talk in private on the ship tell me what do you think of the other passengers? That's what I've been waiting to, be, to ask you the whole time. Well? Tell me about the captain. Is The captain is hard to read. But he knows the great river like the back of his hand. He knows how to avoid the river's teeth and can navigate the ship safely through the Devil's Maw. While I quake and quiver in fear, he can be a hard and stubborn man. But I guess he has to be. After all, <clears throat> he has to shoulder the responsibility for the ship, the crew, and the passengers. The way you speak of him, it sounds as, he, as though he must be a good captain. He is a good captain, actually. He sure is. The Star of Fairduck has never capsized, and its crew has never gone hungry. What about the others? It can't be easy working on your feet. Oh, he's always complaining about something. I can never do anything right in his eyes, and he never believes me either. You can't learn everything in a single day. That's how I see things, at least. You have to admit, though, the story you tried to pull past him was very weak. 
It was seriously. But I wasn't lying. It really did happen, just like I said. But you don't believe me any more than he. Really? But I enjoy listening to his stories. When he talks about his adventures, it's as though you were right there with him. What about the others? Do you know anything about the other three passengers? Well, if you know anything about them, you have to tell me. I've already tried to get some information out of that good-looking, dark-haired fellow. Your typical gossip girl, right here, Jenna. But the dwarf and the blonde-haired fellow with the broad shoulders drove me away as soon as they saw what was going on. With all their whispering and carrying on, they're like a gaggle of old maids, hmm? They certainly seem to be up to something. That's for sure. They argue all the time, but they are very careful to make sure that nobody overhears what they're saying. Maybe they are planning a robbery. Or perhaps they are Imperial agents. Are they now? What about the others? There are no others. Actually, it's you I'd like to know more about. Me? Um, why? I'm sure that you will have adventures and be rich and powerful one day. But as for me... Well, there's nothing interesting to say about me. Stop making yourself less important than you are, Jenna. Oh, thanks. You're right. I'm as grumpy as old Pete sometimes. But I would love to know what becomes of you one day. We've talked for long enough. Hey, the last one to report to Pete has to light the fire. What? That's cheating. Come on, why did you enter? Oh, they're already there. And not another word, Pete. Nobody will, nobody will be getting any sleep tonight if this keeps up. It's a relief to see that you have returned unharmed. We were a bit worried, especially Pete. What do you mean, we're <laughs> worried? I still am worried. Shaky Legs Carl told me all about what happened. Well, never mind all that. We're back and we're, we even have some cinder fungus. Good news at last. Pete, stop babbling and take care of the fire, alright? <sighs> you! Take care of the fire, Jenna! But... Can you go? Onward to the next challenge. Go to sleep. No, I don't want to sleep. Onward to my next challenge. Tell your three traveling companions over there that the camp is set for the night. But do not otherwise disturb them. Understood? Understood. There's something else I have to tell you. We found something in the cave below the ruined tower. Jenna thinks it might be a shrine consecrated to the river father. Don't let Pete hear about that. What about? No, I didn't touch it. It's better to be on the safe side. You made a very wise decision, especially as young Jana was there with you. Not that I hold with all that superstitious claptrap, but still. You want anything else? Do I? Captain, there's something I want to ask you. Ah, these young folks have a thirst for knowledge. Ask away. I asked these, I think. I have to ask about this. What should those uh, other three travelers? There's something strange about that. Forgive me, but I am a discreet man. In spite of what folks might say about us river boatmen, I'll not tell them anything about you nor tell you anything about them. You'll have to ask them yourself. Thank you. This is a, a fast talk check. If it's seated, I can get info. You will see a lot of checks in this game. This is how it's, it's presented. Come on, Captain, you can trust me. After all, they might be brigands. Hmm, I don't think so. Seat. But they certainly don't look like your run-of-the-mill merchants. If you ask me, they definitely have something to hide. But I'm not sure what. Is there anything else you would like to ask? Okay. Pete wants to, to stand guard tonight. Are we in danger? Don't you start with that too. Old Pete loves to frighten everyone with his tails. But there's nothing to them, so drop it. Okay. Human nature. This is another check. You wouldn't be too brusk if they were just old tales. Hmm, yes. Pirates have been attacking ships on the Great River more frequently, but certainly not this far north. You can rest easy tonight. Is there anything else you would like to ask? 
I don't have any more questions, I'll take care of my responsibilities now. Let me check those dudes. What are they saying? You're right, Arlo. It is a mess, but I'm sure we'll find out more in Nazareth. Let me just eavesdrop a little bit. Just as long as they, you let me get on with, with my work in Nazareth, you, ha you two have been clinging to me like a bad, a bad smell. I'm not even sure that the mighty effect could cope with you two. <clears throat> yes, it certainly is a wonderful evening, isn't it, my friend? He saw me, that's why he's saying that. Hello? Uh, what? Yes, it's a wonderful weather for traveling. Oh, right, yes, wonderful. <laughs> he didn't get I'm out. sorry, but we're in the middle of an important discussion. You're also traveling to Nazareth, aren't you? That's none of your business. But, uh, we don't have anything to hide, so I guess we can tell you. We are... Oh yeah, you totally are subtle. Nothing suspicious about you. We are... We're merely traveling merchants. And we have important matters to discuss. That's right. We have a private matter to discuss. So push off. Oh my, you are such an elegant and subtle character, Gamlin. I am impressed. What's that supposed to mean? You're making fun of me, Kano? <laughs> Fox Hill, I mean Fox Hill. So you just drop the other guy's name, Kano. It would be better if you left us alone now. I'm sure that one of the boatmen would be glad to chat with you. What are you doing? Still sneaking around here? By the way, this is the guy who is telling the story in the intro cinematic. Why are you being so unfriendly? I just, I just want to get to know you. So, you want to get to know us, do you? If you don't stop listening to our conversations, you'll get to know my axe. Don't take it to heart. My friend's axe is much sharper than his mind, Ow. and his moods are far worse than his breath. Kano, just say the word and I'll introduce you to my axe as well. Oh, thank you for your kind offer, but I've already had the pleasure. And by the way, my name is Dabro, not Kano. Dabro Foxhill, remember? Stop it, both of you. Now let's get on with our discussion, if we may. Forgive me, kind sir, but we wish to be alone. How are they still hidden? Like this? I mean, they'll give their names just like that for someone who walked in for literally one minute. Okay. I have to tell them what the captain wants. What now? We've already explained that we do not wish to be disturbed. Relax. The captain has sent me to tell you that the camp is set for tonight. Oh, thank you for that reassuring piece of information. I'm sure we've earned a nap. I have to agree with him there. I'll sleep like a log after all that cursed rocking and rolling about on the ship. Nobody's going to bed yet. Or have either of you slackers come up with a good idea yet? Uh. Hmm. Please explain to the captain that we have matters to discuss and that it will take as long as it takes. We wish to remain undisturbed. Understood? Understood. Why are you being so... Okay. I'll give the captain... I'll give him your message. Good night. So just have you spoken with the gentleman? They wanted to discuss something before turning in for the night. Well that's their business, isn't it? Thank you for helping to set the camp for the night. Pete has laid out your bedroll. It's the one with the yellow blanket over by the fire. Sleep well, comrade. Thank you. 
Uh, no, I don't want to add anything. Because I had to already everything. Red blanket, this is my bedroom. Wake up! We were under attack! So, we're in combat. Look at all these enemies. I'm not the only one fighting, so I wouldn't be worried. And this is a support. So, popping up my skeleton. Oh. <laughs> what are you behind you? 